All right, folks. Welcome back to Schmunday with Sam. So last week was the debut of the Halloween mode, Pumpkin Bash. It is utter chaos. You have heavy tanks that could not be killed because of the HP perk and then repair perk to give back the HP and the field perks that also gives more HP. So practically unkillable at that point, especially with DPM and stuff. But there's also the Hellfire Missile Mode, which is basically turning a light tank or fast medium into a missile and you ram somebody without taking the damage back by laws of physics. <laughs> I mean, when I think about it, it's more like a Maverick missile than a Hellfire. Maverick is about 400 pounds, 500 pounds of weight, whereas the Hellfire is like 100 pounds, so it's a bigger missile practically. It's also manned and guided. And it comes back every 5 seconds of respawn time. <laughs> There's no downside of playing a light tank just ramming somebody. The only counter to that perk is having that perk yourself, negating the ramming damage. So you better make sure you ram somebody without the perk, otherwise you look goofy. <laughs> you look real goofy. Uh, the perk is not half bad. There's no repair cost. There's no shell cost with the infinite gold spam. So pretty nice. I mean, it is made up in a few quick moments compared to the Mirni 13 stuff. Obviously because of Putin. And that's what one of the developers said during the, the streams they had. They said because of Ukraine. And because a lot of the developers are in Ukraine, they had to move, they don't have enough time to make the mode, so obviously get something not as complex as the Mirni 13 stuff, but still not half bad. So yeah, blame Putin for the lack of stuff, but hopefully Holiday Ops is still on, guys. That is the big money maker. Hopefully Holiday Ops is still back on. I mean, they still have the Waffen Trigger stuff, and that is partially a money maker, but yeah, the holiday off stuff is pretty important to get distracted by Putin. But when I think about it, which one is worse? 2020 with the COVID stuff and the shutdowns, or this year with the Ukraine and Putin going nuts and stuff? Crap, that's a hard question to answer. It's also political too. I mean, when I think about it from a money standpoint, this year is worse because obviously the gas price goes up and then everything else goes up and I cannot pay for anything. Yeah, this year's worse. COVID, yeah, you can you can only stay home. Fine, I'll stay home and play with myself. <laughs> Giggity. But yeah, it doesn't cut into my cost, right? Whereas freaking... Uh, inflation sucks. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, speaking of inflation, the funny thing about this mode is um, originally we have to pay credits for the perks and stuff, and a lot of people complain. And on the Russian server, they actually gave out 200 of each perks, consumable to all the players as a compensation. And on the other servers, we get a mission for 150,000 credits, so technically there's no loss of credits unless you play a lot of this mode, which is not half bad. But moving on, on the Asian server, we have the Autumn large boxes with the TL7, the tier 9 American premium tank destroyer that is practically a medium tank but uh, it's not that good so don't worry about that low DPM penetration is medium tank so nothing to worry about uh, they also have the Yak Tiger prototype which is basically a stock Yak Tiger they're selling practically laziness also it has only 2400 dpm that is kind of low for tier 8 and well it has some armor not really some superstructure armor maybe the upper plate but yeah it's a yak tiger it doesn't have that much armor nowadays so yeah autumn asian server large consumable or large consumable large boxes <laughs> for sale fine whatever uh riot games have bought wargaming sydney so, interesting, I mean, if it's not working then might as well sell it, right? But 
Uh, it could be like, well... It could be like the Leicester Studio, maybe. With the Russian server, but who the hell knows. Also today, this morning, on the Russian server, they changed the matchmaker for lower tiers, significantly increasing the number of bots. So, the actual wait time for tier 1 through 4 is not around 40 seconds now, it's about 12 seconds. So significantly increase the number of bots so you can actually get into a match because nobody plays lower tiers, so that's nice, but... Tier 5s go from about 40 seconds of waiting to about 30 seconds of waiting, so... Eh... The only downside to lower tiers is that you don't have the mission availability of the event stuff, so all the missions require you to play tier 6 not tier 5 or lower, so nobody plays tier 5 or lower, unless they're playing for fun or seal clubbing, but it's pointless. So, oof, yeah, nobody plays low tiers. Alright, we saw the super test JPEGs of the BZ-75, so that's the tier 10 Rocket Man from Chinese Heavy Tank line coming up. We also, we also saw the changes to the BZ-176, they changed it again after I finished the video. <laughs> So they nerfed the accuracy, nerfed the aim time, and nerfed the penetration of the 160mm to 210-ish millimeters of pen for the AP shell. Originally it was too dirty. That was too good! <laughs> they nerfed it to 208 or 210 or so, but... Uh, there you go folks, that is all the news for last week, but yeah, it's mostly about the Halloween mode. It's still fun-ish. I guess. Stupid broken. Stupidly broken. <laughs> Ramming perk is just utterly dumb. You're playing as a Call of Duty kill streak all the time, practically. <laughs> Which is not half bad, but it's just so dumb. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. It's a short one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see if there's news on the horizon for Holiday Ops, because we're getting to the Thanksgiving era of the year. That's not a term. Well, we're, get, we're getting close to the special holiday op stuff, so hopefully Putin did not mess that up, but we'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. With